When you look up how to make money online, you're gonna see about 10,000 videos with one of three faces on thumbnails. It's either someone going, someone going, or some like mixture of the two. It's, you know, surprise or like, you don't, they can't tell you this. The man doesn't want you to know this. You're not supposed to know this. And I'm going through, cause I'm trying to make videos that are gonna hit that audience, that, that those keywords, that genre, right? And I'm thinking, I don't wanna do that, you know? I don't want to play to this idea that everyone else is playing to. And so I'm thinking about it, and I really do wanna know your, your feedback or your input on this. Why does that work? Because that's the reason everyone's doing it. That's like, you know, the, the uh, snarky, uh, you know, Redditor user answer, because it works. That's why everyone's doing it, because it works. Okay, I get it, but why does it work? You know, and I have my thoughts on this, and I wanna just go over these, because truly, I think there's a way to synthesize this information in a helpful form, right? I don't just want to be like, you know, the secret to making a million dollars in six seconds. Ooh, don't tell anyone. Because if there was a secret, I think we'd want to tell people, right? And so why? What's going on? Well, I think the first thing is that the people who these videos cater to, right? The videos that go viral, that get millions and millions of views, you have to cast a broad net and one of the broadest nets, um, in, unfortunately, on the internet is people who are like kind of desperate or kind of, you know, they want to get rich quick scheme because they want to drastically change what circumstance they're in. Uh, and so when you, when you think that way, when you believe like, oh, if I only, you know, won the lottery, if I only, you know, pulled out this $10,000 autographed sports card or a PSA 10 Charizard or whatever. When you think that way, which is a lot of people online, I don't know if it's the majority, but I know it's a lot of people. When you think that way, of course, you're prone to believing that, yeah, there's some Illuminati secret out there. And this YouTube video, this is going to have, this is going to have my get rich golden Willy Wonka ticket, right? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm probably inclined to believe it's a bad thing, but it is out there. It's totally true. So one portion of the audience that you're, you're going after, if you're somebody who wants to actually create useful content about being self-employed or being an entrepreneur, is you have to take into account that a large portion of your audience is not looking, I guess, to like, create these kinds of systems. We talk about efficient, good systems, you know, reliable business practices. They just want to flip a switch and then tomorrow there's, you know, a, a million gold doubloons in their bed. Um, maybe, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm paraphrasing their wishes, but you get what I'm trying to say. And so then I guess we're trying to trick them into actually understanding uh, that running a business takes work. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, that, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that's not actually an accurate assessment of, of what this audience is. So maybe it's not people who think there's like, uh, you know, here's the secret, shh. Maybe the shh face means like, Psst, don't tell anyone. Like you and I are in on this. You and I and uh, five million other people are in on this secret. And they don't want us to know. And listen, I'm guilty of this. I'm not saying that I haven't done this. My best videos, my most popular videos are ones where I'm making these kind of like you know, shit eating grin faces where I look kind of smug or snarky and I, I, I try and make it a us versus them mentality or I try and act as if the information that I have uh, coming to you is, is um, you know, earth shattering. It, it, it's, you know, it, it's going, it's divine uh, entrepreneurial guidance from above. Um, and then it actually ends up being a video about like making $10 10 times a day and, and making that as the foundation of your business. So maybe there's people who, <laughs> you know, are just kind of ignorant. And maybe there are people who are a bit more paranoid or conspiratorial. And in the back of their mind, they think like, yes, this information is being withheld from me. That's why it's a secret because it's being withheld from everyone. Like, you know, they want to keep us down. And this person on YouTube with the really nice thumbnail and the big white eyes, they've got the secret. Um, you know, maybe that's it. Or like, oh, I'm so shocked that I learned this because they don't want us to know. I don't know if this is just my own interpretation of how things are. Like, tell me, do you do you agree with me? Am I missing some huge swath of the audience out there? Because I just, you know, on the weekends, here's what I'm doing, just talking to you guys about 
the, the day ins and day outs of trying to make money on the internet. A big portion of my, not a big portion, it used to be a big portion of my income was YouTube. Uh, and so I want to get back to that. And getting back to that is about understanding the audience and understanding like what they want and what I can provide to them in an ethical and moral sense. You know, it's because <laughs> I feel like some of these people making these videos don't actually have the best interest of their viewers at heart. And the third thing, and I think that maybe this is probably the most like generous assessment of what's going on is that for whatever reason that appeals to the most people or, or has the highest likelihood of being successful. And so because that's a fact, all of us who are not looking to, you know, get rich quick and find, find uh, Blackbeard's buried treasure underneath her bed, uh, have been like trained to believe that, okay, this is the way a YouTube video is. When I see someone who like, like uh, Harry Tornado who makes resale videos and now he's doing like home renovation stuff, he has what you would call in some cases clickbait titles, but it's not clickbait. He's just, he understands or his thumbnail editors understand that there's a format that works. And so we have to take our, our content creator or myself take myself in my case uh, and figure out a way to fit Blake into the mold of a successful YouTube personality, uh, of a very clickable YouTube thumbnail. Like what you guys are seeing me do this month is use all artificially created thumbnails through, I'm using Blue Willow as my AI tool of choice. I've used Canva in the past as well. Only reason I'm doing this is because Mid Journey is not offering a free trial at this point. I'm using Blue Willow because it's still free and I'm trying to see like, okay, what keyword patterns do I have to put into this artificial intelligence machine to create thumbnails that have the highest CTR and I'm experimenting with patterns and maybe that'd be a good idea for a video at the end of the month. But that's like, you know, the jaded, uh, sardonic, uh, bad person in me is like, everyone's a, a freaking moron. And that's why these like, Ooh, faces work really well because they're just children and they're, they're responding to the kind of things you would do to a child. You'd make a silly face and get a reaction out of them. But I hope that's not the case. Truly, I hope that like most of us out there just understand like, okay, here's the way the game is played. And so is it a combination of all three of these things? I don't know. I just would love to hear your input on this because as my, you know, path towards trying to get back into the good graces of YouTube continues, I certainly do need your feedback. So speaking of feedback, give it a thumbs up while you're here. If you're new, if this video caught your fancy, let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.